I'm getting it then. <laughs> well, welcome to the moving vlog. Uh. Moving vlog, packing up time. To be fair, I've missed probably a good 70% of packing up. We are pretty much packed. Jamie's got one case left of clothes to pack up and then that's pretty much it here. We've got the bed in that's got to come with us. And then other than that, this place is packed. But yeah, once it is all completely empty, I will give like a full apartment tour because we have had, I mean, it's a shame it's cloudy, but we have had some stunning views. Um, we've seen some beautiful sunsets here. But we are leaving tomorrow. We've got to be out of here by 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Exciting. Can't wait to get you here. Like, a Yorkshire twantier. Yeah. Not sure about that, but... Say, ale parking. Ale parking. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> I'm actually not bad at it. time the view at night this to be fair is the best thing about these not having to take rubbish out gone see ya see ya the end is near. <laughs> Sing that song, what is it? And so I face the final curtain. <laughs> anyway, so a little empty apartment tour. It is so dark, let's turn some lights on. So, so, we were 3704. Did us well. You come in. Here's the hallway. And here you have the washing machine and dryer, a bit of storage, and then and then more storage in here. Then you come through here. You will notice this mirror. Then this was the spare bedroom, which had an ensuite bath. And then into the spare room. So I'd like fitted wardrobes, a desk, and then this was the view. And then you come out of here. This was our room. Very comfortable bed, I'll give it that. Um, and this was the view from our room. We had a TV and everything on there, again fitted wardrobes and then oh, our bathroom. And then, where is he? Jamie? I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> Could you actually see it shaking? No, I could see the... I've been stood there for about 10 minutes. To be fair, this is the best view. Oh, I mean, it's the same as the bedroom. But... And then the kitchen. Kitchen area. And then this has the same view as the... as the spare bedroom. And then over this way, you had the view of Stratford. Weird to think we'll never be here again. This is our final moment. Anything you want to say? Yeah, it's been a blast. It has. Miss it when it's gone. Every time we'll come back to London, we'll be like, we live there. Mm. And there you have it. Yeah. I'm sure how much you're leaving. <laughs>
It's a wardrobe. Looks like a full wardrobe. <laughs> uh, don't forget Will's. Will's little suitcase. Will's little <laughs> little basket. It's all, it's all of Will's belongings. We've got a, no idea what's going on. But yeah, this is this is it. This is my life packed up in bags. Will it all fit in the back of my car? That is the question. How many more times are we going to do this in the next 10 years? <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is us. We've got an hour and 36 to go. <laughs> We're going to get there at basically midnight, but I've got little wheels with me. We're just filling the cars up. That's Jamie somewhere over there filling his car up. To be fair, I thought there was going to be more than this. I didn't even have to take my parcel shelf off, but um yeah so the car's loaded and yeah this is us obviously said goodbye to my mum and dad and i honestly think they're more upset about losing wheels than me moving out but yeah we're literally just gonna get in and go to bed and unpack everything tomorrow i took all my makeup off so i could literally just get straight into bed but there he is what no thanks. <laughs> when I like left home, I had this like, it wasn't long, it was like a two minute like, oh my God, this is so scary. Like I got a bit nervous, <laughs> but I'm fine now, is what it is. Um, yeah, crazy. But yeah, I'll update you guys probably in the morning when we're unpacking, because that's what our day is gonna consist of. And yeah, look at this dog straight back to sleep she is an angel in a, in the car good morning so oh the, the mess this is the mess i mean i don't actually think it looks that bad on camera but i done this last night um and then this is what i did when i come last week and started moving some stuff however i don't think there's going to be enough hangers so we're thinking we had black hangers in london and i'm thinking jamie take all the gray ones which is all this side of the wardrobe and then i take the black hangers so we've just got more hangers um because yeah i don't actually think there's going to be enough space for the rest of my clothes because when i tell you this is jam-packed it's jam-packed um i actually fit so much in this case and then i've got coats there are all my shoes i've got track suits here but yeah this is what today looks like and we are done i mean there's little bits like down here i'm not actually sure if i'm gonna keep this here um but we're done all tidy i've actually just got out of the shower but this is my side my coats blazers a couple of hoodies all down here there she is are you settled in as well come here yeah yeah Oh, big stretch, big stretch, Bubba's. Mm -hmm. No, pooch. You tired? Are you? You tired, girl? I forgot. I've not showed you my favourite bit. So this is kind of like my drawer. I've got my makeup, skincare, perfume. All everyday bits and bobs and then I just honestly the amount of my vitamins I've got but then I've got like a hair shelf like overflow skincare bits that I brought up with me <laughs> this is my favorite bit okay so guys we've got this mini fridge and we've just been to Costco Jamie's just bringing all of the bits up but we are going to make this the best mini fridge you've ever seen. So these are literally my, hi Wills, my favourite 
Um, so we've got a few of them in there at the minute. There's some orange ones, some Ribena. I like sparkling water. And then some still as well. But we're going to rearrange. And so we've got cotton apple juice, cotton Ribenas, which Jamie's obviously had one. Um, Capri Suns, we've got a mix of J2O's. We've got orange and passion fruit, which is obviously the main one. And then there's the apple and raspberry, which me and Jamie both like. And then the, I think it's apple and mango. Dr. Pepper, I love Dr. Pepper. And apple tizer. Then we've got some Diet Cokes. So we've emptied the fridge. And this, <laughs> this one's already in it. So, what are you looking at? And guys, there we have it. So we've got still sparkling raspberry lucid, passion fruit, Rubicon, Dr. Pepper, an ass assortment. <laughs> A variety of J2O's, Fanta Fruit Twist, Diet Coke, Capri Sun, Appetizer, Ribena, Apple Juice. This is my idea of a very good time. So yeah, if we're living off pot noodles for the next couple of weeks, it's because we've stocked up the drinks fridge like this. So, shock, I forgot to finish out the vlog. Um, and no leads is not this sunny. <laughs> I am currently away, but I wanted to quickly jump on and just close out the video. But I thought now would be a good time to kind of answer some questions. I got loads of DMs and stuff while we were moving, like, why are you moving to Leeds? All things like that. So I thought now would be a good time to answer them. Obviously, the main one being, why? <laughs> why are you moving to Leeds? Um, and long story short, Jamie is from Leeds. He has spent a year down in London, like away from his family. I've been with my family every day or every other day. Um, and we just thought that it would be nice to spend some time up there. With what Jamie does, he doesn't know where he's gonna be working in the next kind of year, which is obviously a bit tricky for us at the minute to settle somewhere. Um, but me and Jamie have literally spent every night together since like July last year when he come down to London. So for him to kind of go back up to Leeds and me stay down in London, it just was like a step back in our relationship, but we just didn't want to do that. So we just kind of decided to basically move back to Leeds as if he's going to be there next year, um, which could well be the case and then if anything changes and we end up somewhere else in the country or wherever I've pretty much done my moving of my stuff and it's just a case of packing everything up and going again I didn't want to kind of take say two big suitcases up and half live there but have half of my stuff down in London and kind of be between two places I just thought you know what let's do it all in once and if we end up moving again we end up moving again and that's it. Then another popular question is about my job. Um, am I still a PA in London and how is that going and what am I doing with that? At the moment, no, I've not still got my EA job in London. I finished there a couple of weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, they wanted kind of everybody in the office more than less. And I had to make the decision whether again I was gonna live between two places and kind of do three days in the office and then four days up in Leeds and split my time like that or what I was going to do and it was just one of those decisions that I had to be like right what's going to make me the happiest 
and I feel like for the first like month that would have been okay and I thought about doing that for a while and I was like that'll be fine I'll just commute and then when I really sat and thought about it I was like I'd literally be living out of a suitcase for however long it may be um to live kind of two three days in London and then four days up north or whatever I'd just be exhausted so yeah currently no which is really scary um I think maybe it looks to like a lot of people that oh like I'm on holiday all the time and like it it's really like one of those things like like my last day I was like oh my fucking god like what am I doing but I'm lucky I'm in a position where I can support myself and as soon as we find out like where Jamie's gonna be next year for all we know he could be back down in London so it's just a couple of months where I'm just kind of in between and enjoying myself we have America booked and we've like come away to Portugal um but yeah it's really scary because I do I absolutely love being a PA like that's not changed but yeah I just feel like with everything going on it was a good time even if it is just a couple of months to just move and settle in somewhere settle in somewhere new not have to stress about taking time off work or working while I'm doing all that um and yeah that's kind of that I spent so much time in Leeds that it feels at home already and I love Jamie's family like I couldn't have literally found a family as much like mine as Jamie's is um so it's literally like I'm so lucky I feel like I've got family in Leeds and stuff but yeah that's kind of a little update for you all but I'm going to close out this video now the next video will be the Portugal vlog and then I'm pretty sure it's literally going to be like the America videos so we've got New York Nashville, Miami, LA and Hawaii. I kind of just want my videos to be like as if I was just filming them for like home videos. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of how I want these like vlogs and holiday videos to be so that like we can watch back in however many years and be like oh this is our trip to New York, this is what we did in Nashville and then I'll be seeing you guys just watch as well but I'm so excited for those videos but if you've got anything else that you want me to film or you want to see, let me know. Because it is hard. Sometimes I'm like, my life's not that interesting. Like, what the hell am I supposed to film about? But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the Portugal video.